Another former Impact World Champion, WWE Bound. Last six World Champions no longer with the company. This is the lounge. Let's go. What's up, everybody? It is your boy, BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. You guys remember that logo? All right, so I'm going to call him Johnny Impact for the sake of this video, but Johnny Impact does now... We know now that he is not coming back to Impact Wrestling anytime soon. He has signed with the WWE. But let's take a look back at Johnny Impact's run with Impact. You can say what you want to about his run as champion, run with the company, how he was as a heel, how he was as a babyface. If you look back at the Bound for Gold, uh, Gauntlet for Gold, that's what it was when Eli Drake won the title. If you look at that, if you look back at that, you watch that match and you watch Johnny Impact's debut you will hear a pop from the impact zone that you have not heard in quite some time we always talk about and we always remember how quiet the impact zone is check out that pop that they give johnny so he was someone that was very welcomed into the company and remember when global force wrestling hit the road again he was the big i don't, I don't call him the headliner but he was the, the big attraction they brought him taya and drago uh, I believe those are the three they added to the card. But in the Bound for Gold, we knew immediately, Gauntlet for Gold, I'm sorry, we knew immediately that they wanted to put the title on him. You could tell by the way the match was booked. And then after the match when Eli Drake won, he wasn't talking about Eddie Edwards, who he eliminated at the very end. He kept talking about, oh, you know, Johnny Impact, this and this and this. At that point, we knew, okay, we're going to get that, you know, former WWE guy. It's going to get a little bit of a push. And it was quite obvious for quite some time that Johnny was going to carry the title. Now, he didn't get it right away like we might see in a lot of other cases. But he had a lot of main event opportunities. He had a lot of, a lot of chances at the title. He had many opportunities where they gave him the number one contendership. And he just, he just didn't win. So it was, there was almost a trying to do this underdog thing with him. As a babyface, we've always known that you know his character overall was a little bit corny at the end of his Impact run when he made that heel turn, which I thought was really well done with Brian Cage. When he made that heel turn, he became a lot more interesting when they paired him up with Taya and Johnny Bravo, and it would have been nice to see that little faction as two champions, you know, going forward a little bit, a power couple. We didn't get a whole lot of it because then he dropped the title to Brian Cage, obviously. We saw him compete for the X Division Championship. I 100% thought he was winning the X Division Championship at the pay-per-view. You know, I thought they were just going to give him something to do, which was weird because as many cracks at the world titles Brian Cage got, Johnny Impact didn't get a rematch for the world title. So that was always really weird on television. But he did put on a good X Division match at Slammiversary and it helped, you know, put Rich Swan over a little bit. And, it, you know, the departure really caught people off guard because... You know, he had just done an interview prior to it saying he wanted to stick around in Impact for the foreseeable future. And then a week later, the rumor surfaces, and a couple days later after that, he's gone. The last six Impact champions are no longer with the company, and four of them are with WWE now. Uh, the other two would be Austin Aries and Pentagon Jr. So this poses a little bit of a problem, and this is a upload I'm working on. Should be coming to the channel soon where I'm highlighting the six former champions no longer with the company um i shouldn't say no alberto de rio alberto El patron is not back there too but he's heavily rumored to be going back now what's it mean for taya valkyrie you know the the rumors are surfacing that her contract is up soon she's very happy with impact wrestling and you can't blame johnny for wanting to see what other opportunities were out there most likely wwe snatched them up so AEW couldn't i mean we know that's been the name of the game lately but what's it mean for Taya? It's hard to see Taya sticking around after this long knockouts title reign. Um, that's just not the way Impact books. When someone carries a title that long or has that kind of run, usually traditionally they look at them as, okay, we've done everything we can with you. Uh, we don't have anything for you. Or that actual worker says, you know, I've done everything I can. I'm going I'm to move forward. So it wouldn't be shocking to see, you know, Taya depart. I don't think it would be for WWE, though, uh, going through the NXT system. You know, I would see her in another company before I see her go there because she's probably going to want to have some kind of flexibility with the way Johnny will be on the road. As I said, you can say what you want about Johnny's run 
You know, he was one of the bigger names to sign over with Impact Wrestling in quite some time. He did get some buzz when it happened. He did get a pop. And I know um, when he came to the, the Global Force Wrestling house shows, that's kind of when I had just kicked off the Impact Lounge. It was still the King of the Mountain Podcast YouTube channel. But the traffic I had received um, once that announcement came out was, was pretty substantial. And uh, believe it or not, higher than uh, um, probably 99% of the videos that uh, I've put out since in the last couple of years. Kind of hoping he would return only because I enjoyed his heel character. We didn't get a whole lot of it. It's whatever. Uh, the one nice thing about Impact, even though people want to say, oh, well, this guy's departing, this guy's departing, it always opens up opportunity. You know, I would, I would hate to be watching a company where I watch the same people every single week and the same matches every single week, every single month, every single pay-per-view. Like, at least we get things that switch up. So, you know, anytime someone leaves, it just opens up more opportunity, and especially in his case, into the world title picture. So leave your thoughts in the comments about Johnny Impact, um, his time with Impact Wrestling, and, um, you know, me personally, I'll never see him wrestle again because I, I, I won't watch WWE. I just, uh, every once in a while when I feel like I want to give an opportunity, I, I just... I see some of the matches or storylines or something on Twitter. I'm just like, no, I can't do it. Um, but if you watch it, more power to you. Uh, but leave any thoughts you have in the comments of this video. This is the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're a first-timer. 